What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video I want to walk you through how to use the search terms report to absolutely dominate your competition. So we're going to use a combination of the search terms report and the auction insights reporting. All right, And, and if you don't know what search terms report is, all it really is is the a, uh, a little report where you can come over here to keywords. So if you go into a campaign, let's go into our our campaign here junk removal go into the campaign this is a live client by the way so we have some actual data junk removal and we'll go into keywords come down here to search terms so this is all we're looking for search terms and now what Google is showing you here these are the actual terms that triggered your ad these these are terms that were typed into Google by a uh, user and showed our ad and they clicked our ad and either became a lead or not and as you can see a lot of these guys became leads so that means that's a good thing. That means our campaign's dialed in. I think this campaign has like a 40% conversion rate. Oh, 32. I'll take it. That works. <laughs> so that that's what search terms report is. Is what is what you're looking at, and you can download it into a PDF or whatever up here. But this is something that you want to be doing on a weekly basis when it comes to optimizing your Google Ads campaigns. You always want to come in here and just assess the search terms report and kind of sift through and see what kind of keywords we should be adding, which kind of keywords we should be negativing out. Now, what do I mean by that? So not every search that comes through is going to be super relevant to your client or your campaign. And it's just the nature of the game. It depends on, on the keyword match types you're using to drive traffic. Now, this campaign in particular is pretty dialed in, so there's not going to be much negative stuff we should get rid of. But if you're just scrolling down here, let's just see if we can find something. So I'll look after my conversions end so this is the last 30 days of data so you're seeing they had 90 leads so it's a lot to sort of throw okay so these are working this is where keywords that stop converting here so let's just kind of coast through and just see if there's keywords we don't want and something else to take note of you can see the keyword and it tells you the match type that triggered this keyword and the ad group that it came from which is pretty cool. So junk calling Fairfax, that's a good keyword. Fairfax County refused to pick up, so that's a that's a good negative keyword. You can see there I excluded that. And if you don't know how to do that, it's really simple. I'm gonna show you it in a minute. So let's just say we would choose that as a negative. Let's keep scrolling down. This look pretty good. I don't really see too much. Angel junk removal, that's probably another company, so that's a brand. We want to get rid of that. Cost estimate. So that's a, a misspelling, but that's okay. That's not really a deal breaker. Fair and fast junk removal. That's probably another brand, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, that looks like it. It's junk removal, no, that, no. That's mission statement. Yeah, that's something we'll get rid of. All right, so that's pretty much how you would find your negative keywords. So that's one aspect of the ter search term report. So we have our negative keywords. We come up here, add as negative keyword. I do them at the campaign level. If you want to see ad group level, I have another video for that. You can just go to the channel. It's under one of the playlists, I believe, negative keywords. All right, so we come up here. We choose campaign. There, it all automatically adds an exact match because we don't want Google to show us for those keywords again. Hit save, and that's it. You just added key negative keywords to your account based on data from the search term report. All right now, if let's say we want to we want to find gold keywords and add them to our campaign that we're converting that we weren't previously bidding on. So how you would do that is the same thing. We come over here, except this time we're looking at all of our conversions, and we're going to see if we can find any gold in here that we're not currently bidding on. So junk haulers, Alexandria, Virginia, junk removal. That's pretty good I will take that I mean we could technically put this in its own ad group if we wanted to called junk haulers instead of junk removal for Alexandria but for this purpose this is fine right now so we'll do that we'll add that as a keyword and we'll keep going down here let's see what we got junk removal prices uh, how much junk pickup no I don't like that for that ad group junk removal Arlington this is a good one and we're not bidding on it. junk removal in Arlington, Virginia. Trash removal, no, that's not a great one for junk removal ad group. 100 junk, no. Bulk junk removal deals near me. No. Cheap junk removal, Virginia. I'm going to skip that one. So as you can see here, I'm only really trying to add like the most highest intent um, keywords to my, to my ad groups from the search terms report. So I'm not just adding everything, and I suggest you don't do that, honestly. 
we want to only add the high intent stuff, which is people who have a need, they're searching for it, and you can tell in the intent of the keyword they have an urgent need. Um, and also it has to be in the correct ad group. So I don't want to add junk removal Alexandria to junk removal ad group. I could technically add that to its own ad group, or I believe I have an Alexandria ad group, but for the purpose of this video, we're not going to do that today. Lots of geo stuff. So I think that might be it for junk removers. Yeah, we, we, could, we could do that. Junk removal service near me. Yes. Junk removal service in my area. Yes. Now we could add these to junk removal ad group or we could put them in a junk removal near me ad group. But for this purpose of this video, that's something we can add in here. And that works. So let's just say that's it. So we'll take this. We'll add these keywords. And now here's the thing. It's going to tell you to add these as broad match. Please don't. At every keyword you add from, from the search terms report, you should add an exact match. All right? I, I, that's just my, my rule of thumb of how to do it. I, broad match is going to bring you nothing but problems. And I tell everyone that, and I get in debates about it all the time in some Facebook groups about broad match versus everything else. But broad match is something, if, especially if you're an inexperienced Google Ads user, you're going to run into trouble, and it's probably the number one thing that we see that causes all the problems for clients who come to us from other agencies, for our agency, is they've, they've been running campaigns with broad match. So I'm going to add these real quick. These are good keywords. Um, they come to us from other agencies who've been running their campaigns with broad match keywords, and a broad match keyword, I'll give you an example. All right, so by the way, I just added those into the campaign. That's how easy it is. You just add them in the campaign level and it automatically puts them in the correct ad groups, which is cool. So a broad match keyword is something like this. So let's say our broad match keyword is junk removal. All right, so we're, we're bidding on junk removal. Well, Google's going to associate junk removal with anything, any type of keyword in Google's Rolodex of billions of keywords that has the words junk removal in it or related to it. So we could get like, I mean, any kind like, like uh, what's a good one? Like like Weiss Weiss dumpster junk removal stuff like that, or um, you know what's another famous grocery store? We get we see a lot of those from uh, from these types of keywords like giant junk removal stuff like that. Red shoe junk removal, junk removal near me in city whatever. The city has nothing to do with what you're what you're bidding on. Um, it's going to give you all your competitors' names are going to be in here. It's it's just a total mess, and you have to have a massive negative keyword list to make it work and kind of keep it under control. But my my whole point is is that if you're just bidding on broad match, you're going to be you're going to be fighting an uphill battle pretty much. So it's just much easier. And you can see this campaign is super dialed in. It's because most of our keywords are exact match, and we have phrase match as well, but limited. Because we we only go after high intent keywords, and if you do, if you guys don't know what high intent keywords are, then um, I will put a little look up to your top of your screen right now. It should be a thing flashing by to a video where I go through how to find high intent keywords. Um, that video will definitely show you what I'm talking about and how to find keywords that are more geared towards pulling actual leads and phone calls versus just broad type keywords, not match broad type keywords like. Um, you know, just something that's going to be bringing a bunch of random stuff. We want high intent. We want people searching for a problem, and we're offering them a solution right away. There's no mistaking the intent of the keywords. So that's the, those are the kind of keywords that you want to build your campaigns around. Sorry, I just went off on a tangent there, but just watch the video. You'll understand what I'm talking about. So that is pretty much it for the search terms report. You just use it to sift through your data, every, like I said, every seven days, and add in Keywords that are converting for you that you that you weren't possibly bidding on. Um, use it to find negative keywords that are wasting money for you that you don't want your ads to show for again. And also now if we go back, we can go up to ad groups and you can actually see, I have another video too on um, auction insights reporting, but I will leave that for you. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll put a link to that there too on the top of the screen. I'll drop a link to that too. It should flash across any minute. Um, where you can kind of, I go through more in depth what the um, what the auction insights is, but basically what we're looking at here is our let's sort by impression share. All right, so these are all our competitors and how they're doing compared to us via impression share and top of the page stuff, outranking. So this is a great little tool when you're when it comes to coming in to find your bidding for your ad groups and stuff because you can kind of get a, a, a sense of where you are and you can see we got two two big guys 
outbidding us, but that's all right because you know our guys are our guys killing it, so we're not worried about that. But anyways, I'm not going to go too far of this, but this is something cool too to, to look at with your search terms report when you're going through your campaigns every seven days or every week or or a couple days, whatever your optimization schedule is. This is something also that you should definitely be looking at to kind of see where you stand compared to everyone else in your in your local market. So that's important. So hopefully this video helps with the uh, going through the search terms report and how to use it. It's probably one of the best tools that there is in AdWords when it comes to optimizing your campaigns. So like I said, you should be doing this every couple days or once a week or um, every 30 days is, is a big one too. You should always be doing it every 30 days regardless, but you should definitely be doing it at least once a week and just going through your keywords and adding your winners and cutting all your losers. So if you guys have any questions about search term reports or how to use it, anything like that, drop them in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Just click the little red button at the bottom right of the screen. And also check out the description of, of this video. I put some cool links in there for you guys.